Um, how, how will you ensure that, that Jota gets the game time with the strength of the front three that you have um, with, and you've got the demand to be back all the time? You saw our schedule. Yeah. But <laughs> you still think he will get the game time because of the schedule? Even though there's de- the demand to win matches all the time, yeah, because he will win matches, that's for sure. But he's uh, what I said. Um, he's a player on the level of the front three, technically. He's a pressing monster, so hopefully the adaptation will take uh, quite quick. With good players, normally it takes uh, quite quick. So that's a phase he has to learn our game, our way we want to uh, do the things because it's quite different than at Wolves, but. When we see him play in the national team for Portugal, we see that they play 4 3 3. There's a lot of similarity between these two teams. So uh, maybe not the intense pressure, but uh, that he has from his, from his heart already. So, um, um, yeah, um, he, he, he will play as many others. <laughs> but yeah, he's brought to create solutions for us. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Uh, we'll go to Dave Maddock. Who's uh, tennis camera now? Dave, over to you. And then Paul Ghost. Dave first. Uh, Pat, hi. Um, hey. uh, is Thiago too good a player to play in a game against like Lincoln? Because he will never really have played an opponent like that in a in a competition like this. No, the, the German competition is like this as well. Huh? So um, a lot of the times, the, if you draw. Um, a third division or a second division, a third division club in Germany, you play uh, away and uh, they get like them. That's why they, how they try to help in the, in the, so he knows this kind of games. It's the same. Uh, um, um, the, yeah, what can I say uh, about Tiago? Tiago also needs, we, Tiago needs time to understand our game. Um, uh, but we also need to understand and use the skills of Thiago, if that makes sense, because uh, our team will, there will be different timings, there will be different passes, there will be different dictation of play. And what I said before is that um, we have to stay unpredictable. That's the most important. And Thiago gives us the unpredictability from the spine of the pitch, the center of the pitch. And um, he is, um, um, we want hopefully 11 players who can play the last pass and for sure he's one of the players who can play this last pass you you you, you seem to sort of almost suggest that uh, as an evolution it, this is the sort of perfect time for him to come into this team to it, it, it has to be done in stages like that yeah absolutely um uh, this team deserves a player like him uh, because we um uh, a good team deserves good players and a good team does, des- deserves players who add something and uh, he will add something to our our, our team. And uh, you always have with signings, you have to direct improvements. You put the player into the game and things happen. So uh, um, say if you put a new goalkeeper and he will make a save, blah, blah. if you put a striker and he will score. But the indirect uh, development is the most important of signings. So because Thiago is so calm and plays so much creative passes, all the others start playing like this. This is the power of the example, the power of uh, of uh, models. So that's uh, one thing. He will not only improve our game, he also will uh, improve the other players. Thank you, Dave. And then we'll finish with the, uh, as it stands at the moment with the embargo section with Paul goes from the Echo. Um, Paul, finish us off. Hi Pat, um, you mentioned there about uh, Thiago bringing some unpredictability, unpredictabilities to the midfield. Um, what would you suggest is kind of the, the perfect blend then for the midfield three? Because there are a lot of players who can play in that position and obviously it'll be times when you chop and change the, the personnel. But in terms of the skills, what is it specifically that, that you're looking for? We, we always search. We always search to do the right thing for each game. That means that because we have so much different uh, uh, characteristics in our midfield, we can really uh, change when necessary um, and uh, put the right midfield, or we think before the game is the right midfield in place uh, to approach the, the, the game. Um, um, but it's not only Thiago, of course, it's example Curtis Jones who comes in and really uh, takes an important spot in our midfield, who gives us risk between the lines, who gives us young blood, who um, 
who um, who is uh, a proper squad player at this moment in time. So, yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you, Pat. Thanks, guys.